this is Barb from Barbara Jean's Gifts and Gourmet. This is my uh, the beekeeping outfit. I'm at the Macomb Farm and uh, we're going to start extracting some bees because it's harvest time. So it makes a great Halloween costume too, by mm. the way. But uh, we're going to go down and breed all the bees, I guess, with Mr. Bill. So let's go. Okay, now I see bees falling out of this thing. So yep. what am I supposed to do? I'm going to pass down a box here in a minute. Okay. I guess the, every box has bees in them? Oh yeah. Okay, and they're on those frames, right? Correct. So how many are in this cedar box right now? The one, two, three, four, like how many are in here? This box has probably got 60,000 bees in it. Okay, listen you guys, um, we're done for the night. <laughs> he said 60,000, trust me, this is a lot of bees. Okay, okay. now... Um, when you take this box over and set it right over there, just like this. Pick it up like that? Yep. What, what is actually smoke, what does that do to them? It just kind of, does it make them like... It, it calms them. Yeah. It calms them. Some people say because they think the, the woods are on fire. Yeah. Then they go gather some honey because they think they're going to have to take off. Oh, okay. Other people say that it just confuses their scent. Since they put off a pheromone, the attack pheromone. Yeah. So it confuses that. Yeah. Well, I don't need to be smoked. I'm confused enough as it is. I'm trying to go down inside and get out of the way. Yeah. Oh my God, look at that. Almost all disappeared. They did. Are they, are they a particular kind of bee? Like, not like a yellow jacket or? There are a lot of different bees. I have, I have uh, four different kinds. I have Minnesota Hygienics. I have Oregon Survivors. Um, Carnolians. I think just Italian kind of bee, just a oh, okay. regular blend of Italian. Most of them are all Italian, yeah. just different strains of it. Oh, okay. So then, like the the uh, yellow jackets that fly around in August, they're not they're not honey producing. See there, how this is what wow. they're going to live on this winter. They've got this all filled up with honey. This is all capped honey. This whole thing is full. Okay. So the bees, the main brood, is all down here in the bottom. That's where the queens are? That's where all the bees are? That's like their home? Correct. Okay. That's where they're making babies and all that stuff. Where do they go? They'll go back to their hive. Oh, they will go back to their hive? That's amazing. I'm telling you. Okay, we're going to go down here and see if we can get a little bit Oh, wow. Look at all those bees. Holy crap. We've zoom in on we got to get them all out. For as oh, many as we can, we'll have yeah. to blow them out again. But... And then... Okay, holy crap, can you see in there? You watch the back side when I'm blowing, they'll... They'll go flying? Oh yeah, they come up. I'm just using this scratching knife to take the cappings off. It has to be exposed, otherwise it cannot come out. It okay. has to have the caps cut off of it. Okay. Built standing up like this in the hive. Oh, okay. These are all at a 12 degree angle. So when you put it in the extractor, you put it in this way so everything can come out. Centrifugal force that comes out. The bees bring the honey in and it has to cure. It's okay. too wet when it comes in, too much moisture. Yeah. So when it's the right moisture content, when they dry it, they actually dry it theirself. They use their wings and blow air through the hive and dry the honey. When it's dry enough, then they cap it. If it's not dry enough, and say we took it from the bees and we harvested it, yeah. it would have too much moisture in it. And when we put it in the jar or a bucket, yeah. then it would start to foam, it would start to ferment in the container we put it in. Okay. This so is all. You always want to make sure it's dry enough. But the bees know where it's dry enough and they'll cap it. And there actually is uh, honey coming out too. Correct. All that honey that comes out there is yeah. not wasted. That's oh. all strained and filtered and oh, okay. all usable wax. Oh, oops. I know I, I know I pr did a practice run before, but I obviously am not a professional. It's, it's a lot harder than how it works. Sure. Yeah, then we'll we can, uh, spin out some honey, and it goes into the bucket, and then it gets all, it goes into your containers and comes to whatever stores and yep. markets that you sell to. There it goes. 
balance. Yep, I just lean against it, so some of those are uneven and it's out of balance. Oh, okay. When they're all empty, it'll be nice and smooth and balanced. spin them out the last part of the process and the honey flows out into the bucket and then uh, Bill transfers all of it to and the don't jar. don't forget you come to Barbara Jean's with Gibson Gourmet for this really really all joking aside this fantastic natural honey. You cannot believe when it's actually extracted how wonderful it really tastes. These are pesty little critters but they're incredible too so um, I mean the whole backstory about the beekeeping business is fascinating.